Zuckford. Here comes the crunch. Ponick in left circle. Shooting kicked out by Leonard. Covers up in the... And the crunch crashed the goal mouth again. And a few pairs of gloves hit the ice. It's a big pileup on top of Robin Leonard, who was face down in the ice. You know, if Koharski wants to take control of this, give him another penalty because they just crashed the... Fr- it wasn't like that puck was loose. Leonard was on top of it. Oh, and Leonard's and back. Leonard's going after... Richard Ponick, who came in there. Leonard loses his headgear. He's blocker down. Koharski restraining him. And here comes Rico Hellenius. And here comes Hellenius. We're going to have a goalie fight. A good old goalie fight. Here we go, Grady. Uh-oh. Here they're squaring off at the blue line. Leonard and Hellenius are throwing bombs here. Look at this. It's, oh, what a number! Oh, run. Leonard with Woo-hoo-hoo. their tremendous oh. right hands, and down goes Hellenius. Oh, a bugger. The fans are on their feet here. Some old-time hockey, and what were you and I talking about this morning, Shrive? Some of those old arenas where Slapshot was filmed. It feels like Saturday night back in the 1970s here at the Veterans Memorial Arena. A little bit of everything going on here tonight, Grady. <laughs> Glad I made the trip. <laughs> I still maintain Jamie Koharski. He needs to give the penalties to the forwards that keep yeah. doing this the stuff in front of the net. Yeah, they ran Leonard after he made a great save off Pony. Great save as Pony tried to cut in on the left side. And Leonard just wouldn't give him any room on the short side. And then uh, all hell breaks loose. You know, there should have been a penalty right away for goaltender interference, but Jamie Koharski has lost all control of this game, and it is if no one, the two goalies went at it here. And so now Nathan Lawson's going to come in for Binghamton, the uh, former New York Islander, uh, formerly New York Islander property, and got his first NHL win against Ottawa. Now he's going to have to come into the game here and, uh, and take over in goal. Leonard's gone. Hellenius is gone. Dustin Tokarski is in for uh, Syracuse, their number one goaltender. So, this is all happening almost halfway through the hockey game. Got a long ways to go, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> oh, boy. What a mess. Yeah. You know, and this is Vic played a gritty type of game last year when they were down there. I don't remember this type of stuff. And just, you know, I heard about it from the Hershey folks from their opener last week in Syracuse, seeing it firsthand. And I'm not quite sure what the transformation has been from last year to this year, but something that we didn't see a whole lot of. You don't mind tough hockey, in-your-face hockey, but just this stuff post-whistle, it just really is uncalled for. Yeah, you know, you can't let that kind of stuff go on. And Jamie Koharski just lost all control. I don't know whether that says anything for the two referee system, Brady, but, you know, there's still a lot of old school types out there that would prefer to just have the one, but he, he's just let things get out of him, and he's got what he's asked for, a game that's completely gotten out of control. Well, Robin Leonard had been a major. I'll be curious to hear what that call is. Meanwhile, it's Rico Hellenius with just a two-minute minor. Well, Hellenius left his crease, so obviously uh, there you you go. Know, he's got it. And then when Leonard left and skated out to the blue, because they fought right at the right at the Binghamton blue line. That's where they went at it. And uh, it, it's funny, two European goaltenders, too. You know, I mean, <laughs> you know, this would never happen in a hockey game. A Swede and a Finn going at it. Very nice.